This video discusses the Compass Assessment Report. At the end of every assessment, a report is generated that contains the results of the assessment. You can add additional information to the report or add notes about the client by clicking the Edit Report button, which looks like a paper and pencil. On the Edit Report menu, click Return Visit slash Notes to add additional information. You can add a return visit date, a return visit time, a report header, such as your contact information, and any relevant session notes that you wish to appear on your client's report. Note that in Account Settings, you can create a report header that will always be automatically included on all session reports by default. This is helpful if you wish to include your contact information or any other information on all reports. To learn how to create a default report header, please watch the Account Settings video. On the Edit Report menu, click Client Notes to enter any relevant notes about the client. This information will not appear on the client's report and is instead meant only for you. These notes can be viewed and edited at any time. To learn more about client notes, please watch the Edit Client Info video. Back on the Edit Report menu, click Show Descriptions to hide or show the product descriptions on the report. A green check mark means the report will include descriptions. From the Edit Report menu, click Close to return to the report. Notice that the changes we made to the header are now included at the top of the report. After the header, the report displays the product assessment results. The images on the left are called dynamic profiles and are graphical representations of how the client's body responded to the virtual stimulus items during the assessment. The first image shows the client's baseline response. At the beginning of the assessment, the Compass scans 76 biomarkers related to different body systems, functions, and metabolic processes. The larger circle represents the range for the client. Any biomarker that is in range is shown as a green dot inside the circle. Any biomarker that is out of range is shown as a red dot that appears outside the circle. The report also lists exactly how many biomarkers were out of range. After the baseline assessment was completed, the Compass software analyzed the body's galvanic skin response to each product belonging to the product line in your software. The first product listed after the baseline is typically one that had the highest positive response. You can see this by comparing the number of red dots from the initial dynamic profile to the second one. The results also numerically list how many biomarkers were brought into range from the initial baseline with this product. Since some biomarkers are still out of range, the report continues to display the dynamic profile for the next product, and the number of biomarkers that were brought into range in combination with the first product. It is important to note that each product's results are in combination with all of the previous products. In other words, the results are cumulative, not individual. Note that the product assessment results often stop after all the out-of-range biomarkers have been brought into range. However, this is not always the case, and there may be times when a few biomarkers still remain out of range. Finally, the report ends by showing each of the product's descriptions. You can email a PDF of the report to your client by clicking the Email button at the top of the screen. You can also print the report by clicking the Print icon in the PDF toolbar. Finally. You can save the report to your computer as a PDF by clicking the Save icon. This concludes the video on understanding the Compass Report.